Welcome back, guys. Um, so it's been a while. So let's get to it. So the previous lesson we had issue trying to pick out the normal map out of um, ZBrush. So let's see. I like to do an auto group, auto group with UVs instead. Because I would like to kind of separate out the, the head out of this. And then just big normal maps for the head. So I have a few ideas in mind to use though, but let's see, let's see, let's see how it goes. So just trying to check and see if everything's working correctly. Just looking at the skull shape right now. Uh maybe I should make a little adjustment for the skull shape. Mm see okay let me just tune this down a bit with the move brush i think i need to increase the no tonal symmetry for this <clears throat> okay so this again increase the brush size and just push this okay back a bit more back in like so something like this should be fine let's see how it matches with the heart okay increase the IS subdivision level so you can see the details in there it is lower subdivision level rather Okay, I would like to export this subdivision level to as my lowest subdivision level, but under export settings, let's make sure smooth number is turned on. Now, receive this export. I think I'll just give it a new name instead. Uh, probably. In New Albedo Base Mail. Yeah, it should be fine. We'll save this. Okay, let's do duplicates so we have a backup so we don't mess up the original. Let me hide this base mail one. Let's work with the base mail O2 instead. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay, let's go to the highest subdivision level. Scroll down under layers. Let me just try to figure out the skin port detail for this. I think I'd like to make some, some more adjustment for the skin port detail layer in here. Okay, let's see what this does. It's been long I opened this file, so I uh, don't know if I still remember correctly what I the actual look I felt was the best to go on with but uh, let's see let's see if we can find something that actually works then we can just work with that instead just adjust this a bit more and look for something that should work Okay. Uh, some more adjustment to this. Just trying to find a good balance for this. Maybe adjust this a bit more.
just trying to get something that is good enough Bit more increases all the way to the positive value. Yeah, I think it looks better. Case uh, feels a little bit patchy all around, though. Mm -hmm. Probably need to adjust this a bit more. Uh, just trying to figure out something that would work, something that looks more appealing, at least for close up shots. Uh, this one so far not so bad. Maybe I can turn this be input a value instead. Let's try 0 0.4 and take this cursor out first. 0 0.5 let's see what is that you do I'm just gonna figure out okay just kind of add some greens on top of it if I remember correctly I'm sure you guys remember because you guys are keeping up keeping kind of following along with the tutorial so you guys should definitely remember ah uh, now nah, this is just too it's just too aggressive Probably it's just too aggressive. Let's see if we can turn this down some more. Okay. I'm trying to find the balance between something intense and something not too intense. Mm. I'm just keep tweaking this and figure out something that feels good enough. Let's see. Just trying as much as possible to find a really good balance for this. Yeah, it's taking longer than it should, but forgive me. Just trying to look for something that works just fine. maybe just maybe i can i can work with this just maybe because normally this is happen to be smoothed out when you or softened out rather when you add sss to it inside of him um, inside of maya it's using anod well trying to see let me do this a bit more again Zero point four. Uh, okay, and big all. I'll work with this. Okay, I'm going to lower subdivision level. Then I did this polygroup. I this, I this control W to give this entire poly, entire visible mesh the same polygroup. Okay. Mm, let's see. Let me go to the subdivision level two. Uh, no, no. Before I sp no, before I explore this out, I need to delete it in first. Take this down the lowest and then do it delete it in. The idea is that I want to kind of export out just this head mesh only. So as a low poly, so I can bake that in my set too. But, but I still have a few other ideas to kind of try out, kind of see if I can make this work instead of ZBrush by making accurate normal maps if possible. So let me create a new folder so just to keep things a bit more organized, big. Let me name this. 
instead try put this low save okay okay and this is weird after increasing this audio to the highest subdivision level all my details got blurred out which is extremely weird share the skin for details which is precisely what i needed for this they've gotten completely blurred out which is extremely let me just go back with some undo, undo history probably back to where we still have uh um the other parts of the body before deleting them this is very strange honestly it's quite strange i have no idea why or any technical explanation as to why it's blowing that out when i delete other parts of the mesh uh oh god gosh my layers are gone seems like I won't be able to retrieve the layers in there anymore. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, good thing we good thing we, we had a backup file for this, so can always can always go back to the backup file. Let's see. Okay. Okay uh probably let's try this one more time let's see no i think this is getting a bit slow because i'm doing it at a very high subdivision level okay okay Okay, we have all of this in there. At the highest subdivision level, we have all of this in here. Probably doing something wrong though. So let's do a delete hidden. Uh, so I'm just, uh, let, uh, we'll be on the lowest subdivision level for this, which we were previously, but it kind of blurred out all the details. Let's see if this will work this this time. Well, let me just save out, save this file again. Just be on the safe side by saving this file. Nice, nice rhymes, isn't it? Okay, so let's do it deleted in again. Should probably even pause this video and probably come back when this is done. okay it's done so let's moment of truth let's go all the way to the subdivision level let's see the same issue the same issue this is, this is getting really strange man so i can't really get higher subdivision level on this segmenting the same came skin poor details so i can explore this out as the highest subdivision level for the head and bake a set to bag that sucks that's really 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 sucks Probably, probably, probably a bug or something. We'll figure it out anyways. We'll figure it out. So, undo that. Delete. So, after I'm doing that, delete hidden. We have our details back in again. Our details back in. Let's see if we can scroll through. Bring everything back out again. Okay, all the details are still in there. Details are still in there. Uh, there are a few ideas I have in mind though. So you can actually kind of big using the rather not big like project all. From the low one to duplicate of this main mesh itself. 
we could do that. That's another way, but that's that. I'm not sure that will kind of maintain the integrity of the mesh and integrity of the UVs when we kind of do project or when I need to kind of start to, to redo UVs again, and I don't want to do that. So let's look for another solution that would work without having to get our UVs messed up for the integrity of the mesh messed up. Uh, a few ideas. Let's just keep trying other ideas at the moment. So let's see. Uh, now, the reason why I'm showing you guys this this step is because other tutorials kind of skip this part of the process and then just fix fix the issue at the background and then just do a walkthrough. But I always prefer to just show everything raw as it is. Any issue I encounter, I just try as much as possible to fix it. I'll show you guys how I fix it. So let me just delete this and just duplicate the duplicate the original again. Good thing we had we still had the original in there. Let's see how we can see how we can make this work. Uh, okay, let's duplicate this. Hide the original. Now let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, I have another idea. Maybe if I subdivide this one more, go to really high subdivision level, probably we should be able to keep the resolution in there so um should be fine i guess oh yeah yeah we need to adjust this no we duplicated this so we need to adjust this again we kind of figure out something what we had initially so let's let's adjust this a bit more what does this actually do we don't really see so much difference though i think it's I think it's a lot better when it's off. Let me adjust this again. I find a good value for it. Okay. Zero point four. Uh, okay. Mm, let me adjust this a bit more. Zero point seven. Let's see. Minus zero points. Uh, let's see. Probably four. Let's try something else. Minus zero point six. Hmm. Uh, I still want some of those detail poking out though. Feels like it's completely hidden, so let me adjust this a bit more. 0 0.4. Uh, from a distance, this looks, looks uh, a bit more adjustment to this. 0 point, uh, 0 0.3. Getting somewhere. Let me just save this again. Okay. Let's see what we have. All right. Um. Okay. Let's see. It should be fine. Should probably. I think I'll just crank this up. And add almost sub. <clears throat> probably add almost subdivision level to this. Uh. Let's do it. Delete it again. 
Okay. Uh, okay, into big into big layers. Okay. And do that a few times. I'm guessing I need to let's crank this subdivision level one step higher. Probably that would all the detail one kind of dig it hidden on the other parts. So it's subdividing now. So let me just give this same um, okay not yet. Uh let's divide let's divide this so it's going to show now so it's two million. Oh, that was fast. Okay, uh Let's see if this will hold now. Let's see if the details will hold if we repeat the same step. step. So low la layers, big all. Then, uh, go to lowest subdivision level for this. Then, we'll add all of this and we'll do a delete hidden. Ctrl W. Geometry delete hidden. Okay. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's see. If <clears throat> Let's see if those details hold. Um, almost there. Let's get close up on this. Ah. Uh, it's trying to keep it's a little, little bit better than the previous one, but this is not this is not exactly what we want. It's supposed to have all this. I need to I need to have all the details in there visible, all those scripts detail in there visible. Trying to keep most some of the details, but some parts are blurred out, which is not what I want. It's definitely not what I want. Trying to because we have more subdivision level here, so it's trying to keep it, but it shouldn't be like it's supposed to keep all these creeps sharp detail because there's enough topology on this to kind of hold this. Because if on subdivision on a on a polygon count of 15 million, it's old, it's held rather, it held all the details properly. So why would having this in 45 million now we now begin to lose more skin for detail? This is just quite the opposite which isn't supposed to be so uh let me duplicate this and i'll hide this mirror base o3 this mirror o3 because this one does not have the history in there but this the original of the duplicate has those history in there so let me scroll back through let's scroll back through again Okay. Uh, it seems like anytime we do a delete hidden, I'm going to scroll back through. We don't get back our layers. We don't get back our layers. It sucks. But at least we did we get back. I mean, 62 million. Just seems counterproductive. You know, let's just big. Let's see if as it's two million, we can get accurate big normal map big for this without any issues. Since we have more subdivision level in here, probably this should work correctly. Now let's see. Let's just see. Because the creeps detail are in there now. So probably baking this now should at least keeping in mind there's more resolution, more definition to the poly count in here now. Probably gets more or better bit to this without errors around the eye region. So uh think we need to go to the lower subdivision level for this. 
to bake this correctly. So let's go to subdivision level two. Let's make this our subdivision level two instead. Yeah, fuck the resolution is there already. No more map. Adaptive is fine. No, no, not adaptive because adaptive will just give us crazy long, crazy long baking time. I wouldn't really want that, so let's just create the map for this instead. And hope, just hope it bakes out correctly. So this is done. So let's clone this and let's flip the exports. Then we're going to check this out. Let's PNG instead. Z exports. We should go to Z exports. Z maps. Uh, I just named this something different. Tests are bid. Okay. Then we need to go and check it. Let's see if there are no weird artifacts on the I region. So this is fine. Uh, exports Z maps test 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 okay here it is let's maximize this and let's get a close up shot on the head and around the eye region because that's where we have those weird artifacts uh is actually we have the same arrows let me just zoom in a bit more you can see it's not really doing its best to pick out the details around the eye region we have this weird artifacts is blurring out on the normal map around this region, so which is not what we want. We do not want that. We don't want that. So it is not good enough. It's going to work. So let's try something else. It's more or less like doing like troubleshoot to kind of figure out which solution will work just fine. So uh, Guessing to see how the details are getting blowed out again. So it just gets blowed out. This is not what we want. I think I'll just probably delete. Let's see. The subdivision level do we have in here? 15. Okay. This one still has all the details in there. Okay. So I'm going to export this. Oh, this is the IES. Let me name this to I. Let me export this as 15 million since everything keeps the details are still in there. Okay, so let's play this out. So we'll also have to bring this in into Momoset 2 bag instead and then just import them and bake inside of Momoset 2 bag instead. ZBrush is not helping out at all. So let's try and another package for this to let's see if we can get something to work out of this. Okay. Oh crap, where did I save this out? Uh, where did I export this out into? Let's find out. Yeah, found it. Okay. Let's just, I think I'll just cut this and put this where it's supposed to be instead. Let me just put this to so select this and this and cut. Export, paste this in here. Okay. Uh, I think the new base mail. So let's drag this into mom set to bag. Okay. Uh, then, but the cameras are weird. So let's fix this camera. Should we? Where is that? Z actually this 45. Let's see. Nope, nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. It should be. No, this is not working. Should be around, should be here, I think. Let us type 18 here. Yeah, this is it. 
this is it, this should work. Um, okay, you can see how some of the details are kind of in there, not completely though, but let's just name this to low, enter. I did this for now, and let's bring in the big guns. Let's bring in the I uh, subdivision level in here. So I suppose that subdivision level 15. Rather, fully count of 15, so which is like subdivision level 5 from ZBrush. So this might take a while, so I'll come back when this is done. Okay. Okay, cool. So if you just zoom in here now, you can see all these all those scripts detailed in the skin pod detail in there precisely how it should be they're all in there accurately which is precisely which is precisely what we need okay so let's bring out our new bit projects then i will just drag this low mesh into the okay that's the high one rather the low one into the low underneath the group so more like they're putting them in the, in the group of this low and in the group of the eye so very important then let's see the high so let's hide the high we really want to visualize the low so we can kind of preview this on top of it so click on this big project let's adjust some settings in here uh i guess we need more samples for this though 64 i've already tried 64 before 16 i have tried but i don't know i don't know how long it will take i don't want something that will take i'll take more than 15 minutes kind of big so uh it's a tricky tricky one i'm not really sure let's 64 ah god no not four uh this is this is an that's an odd one uh, probably need to experiment with this though. Uh, trying to figure out which one should use. Uh, okay, maybe let's go with 16, I guess. Let's go with 16. I think 16 for now. For now. Uh, resolution 4K, obviously. For now, just to test things out and figure out what works. Um, what else? What else? What does this do? Yeah, we're making a map, which is precisely what we want. Um, okay, select the low. Now I can see how the big cage is just the distance is just way too far. We want something much closer. Should it be this, this min or max? Should be let's try this max first. Oh, yeah, definitely this. So Let's get this a bit closer. Not completely in, into the marsh though, a bit outward, a bit more. Not directly on the surface, touching the surface. Should be like some kind of cage enveloping this kind of. Um, yes, let's create a path where I'm going to be picking out my map into. Um, and Z exports, definitely Z map. Let's create a new folder for this. Probably name this to two bag. Okay. Then let's see. A L B no. Input is to PNG. PNG seems to work just fine. Uh, no more. Okay. Save. Okay. Uh, let's go to the big group again big project rather let's see uh okay so all the settings settings looks fine uh, i think i'll bake at 8k let's let's get a very good quality to this because if we bake at a lower resolution that will kind of not give us high resolution big out of this let's be at 8k so we can get some more higher resolution big out of this at least texture based though uh let's run so everything fine everything looks fine everything looks fine so let's run a bake for this 
let's give this come back when this is done so it's actually big faster than i expected it to be though which is quite cool so we need to preview this big really fast so uh let's get a let's get a preview on this moment of truth hit this wow great I think we can see some most of those scripts detailing the surely around the eye, surely around the eye region, which is accurate enough, good mm -hmm. enough for what we need it for. So we're not really getting those big weird actor fat in there, big instead of moments at so which is really impressive. It's very, very, very impressive. I'm really impressed with this. Okay, so let's raise that big keep forgetting where the folders are okay um let's name this two bag just to be specific that this big was made out of two bag obviously and i would cut this and paste this here instead okay so let's go a bit crazy on this I would like to go a bit crazy on it, but I'm just gonna delete this. Let's see if I can delete. Uh, turning this off, I doesn't turn off. What does this do? No. Uh, no, that's the law. Just to make that's just visibility toggle. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, that's not it. Yeah, this is it. Yes. Yeah. So how do I delete this or turn this off? Yeah, cancel. Yeah, it's gone now. So. I would like since this bits out very fast, so let's put this at 64 bits, not 64 bits, rather 16x, 16, 64 times samples on this. Now let's run a bit again for this. Probably I should leave this on that person is. Let's see how fast this will bake. Previously, it took like around roughly three minutes or less than three minutes to bake. So let's see what how long this takes. So I won't be turning this off. Let's just see how long this takes. It's like it's taking a bit longer than no no it's not it's not even up to a minute yet now is it no it's not up to a minute yet uh, do not disappoint me yo oh, oh that was fast probably there's even less than two minutes so let's preview this again yeah let's see if we get sharper yeah we got we got sharper details in there now yeah, this is better. This is much better. I got sharper details in there. This is fine. So let's. I'm just gonna show you guys. This is much better. Kind of preview this in a darker shade colors, so you can kind of see the details properly. Especially with the reflection on there, it's much easier to see reflective details of skin pores on a darker surface. So yeah, you can see how sharp and crisp this, this looks, which is precisely what we want. All right, I'm quite happy with the results. This is awesome. Yes, we encounter issues like this, and you have an issue baking instead of ZBrush. Just make sure you remember that two bag is a way to go to kind of get more accurate bake out of your model when ZBrush is not really doing the best kind of capture the details properly. So uh this work just fine this is fine so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next lesson so bye for now